Okay, I just got uh, back from the shop. I ended up bringing uh, this head down and have them check the valves. So the consensus is down there that that little bit of leak that I saw in the last section of the video would not really cause uh, zero compression. I, I tend to agree with that. I don't. I, if anything, it would cause low compression. Uh, it doesn't. I'm not seeing any marks on these on this valves at all. Nothing on the pistons. Nothing to indicate that the pistons hit the valves, that they're bent, anything like that. And the place, the shop that actually did the reconditioning of these heads is a pretty well-known uh, shop here in New England. Uh, in fact, if you talk to pretty much any hot rodder and mention this shop, they're gonna, they'll know who I'm talking about. And I've had several cylinders and heads done by this particular person at this shop. So I, I, don't, have a, I don't really think that the shop did anything. So... What the shop is telling me, what they think the problem is, is that a lifter is not, uh, has failed. That it's keeping the valve open, it's not allowing it to open and close. Uh, I don't know that I agree with that. Uh, I'm watching the, you know, the push rods move up and down on the rockers and I'm seeing the valve open and close. Maybe it's opening up, keeping it open a little bit that I can't see. Uh, anyway, uh, I got some new lifters. And so I'm going to be putting in, I'm going to just put them in the rear cylinder for now. I'll probably do the front ones later on. But these are Comp Cam uh, lifters, DS1003, and they're full travel, you know, roller lifters. So here is the new lifter. Now, the orientation of the oiling, you know, which is right here, uh, the manual doesn't state which way this oil ho hole goes, whether it's outboard or inboard, but you should really t put these in back the way they came out of the motor, uh, just because if you flip this around, this is actually going to be turning a different way and you might gall it. So, But when you put a new one in, see like the oil hole on this is actually going to be on the side. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm thinking maybe it should go, this should go to the back because the oil is coming in from the back tank on this rear uh, cylinder. So I'm going to face them both back this way. Uh, it looks like on new lifters, it doesn't really matter what the orientation of that oiling hole is. So we're going to do the, uh, you know, the rear cylinders on this. Then I'm going to put the head back on. I'm not going to put the tank on because I don't want it to keep taking the tank on and off if I'm getting a zero compression. So we're going to put these lifters in. We're going to button this, the motor back up. And then we're going to uh, try another compression test. So, I, I mean, I got all new gaskets and everything for it. So we're going to uh, put that together. Okay, so I've got to uh, put this adapter on so I can, uh, I gotta use this dog bone to torque the rocker plate down. Okay, so that's going to do it for the uh, rocker tops. So you have to use this dog bone to do the torques because you can't get underneath the, the uh, head with something. Why something coming from Amazon for me? No, I guess not. Turn it around. So here's kind of a cool set that I bought all different now uh, Aries makes this and uh, I don't remember if I got the, I don't think I got this at Harbor Freight I think Harbor Freight didn't have any 
but uh, gives you all different kinds of dog bones for uh, you know doing torque or tightening bolts in uh, tight spaces so nice little thing to have all right so now we can put this gasket on I think I'm gonna, uh, where's the cover? I think I'm gonna start a couple bolts on this first. Okay, so I gotta take these bolts out because we uh, gotta put some lock plate on them. Yep. And then I gotta torque them down. I just wanted to get the this metal gasket set. Okay, so now we got to set the uh, top the ro top rocker box to uh, 15 to 18 foot pounds. So I think I'll go with. 17. Okay, so we pretty much got everything hooked up right now. I just let it do one. So that's uh, going to be it for today. I'm going to pick this up tomorrow because uh, we're on our way out. So all I got to do is put the battery in and then we can uh, try the new uh, compression test.